the Alphabet Book Corner. I'm Mrs. Hockley, and can you guess what letter we're learning about this week? The letter M, you got it, as in mermaid and moose. Meet Mortimer the Moose. Can you say hello to these nice people? Hello there, so nice to meet you. Now today's book is not about a mermaid or a moose, so I'm sorry if I misled you, but it is a truly magnificent book because it teaches about love and kindness and acceptance. And our world always needs a lot more of that. Don't you agree? Don't forget to stick around afterwards because you're going to make some mixed up art. Trust me, it's going to be a masterpiece. Let's begin our story. Mixed, a colorful story by Ari Chung. In the beginning, there were three colors, reds, yellows and blues reds were the loudest la 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 yellows were the brightest and blues were the coolest everyone lived in color harmony until one afternoon when a red said reds are the best the yellows disagreed no we're the best because we're the brightest. The blues were too cool to even respond. The colors decided to live in separate parts of the city, Redville, Blue Town, Yellow Heights. But then one day, a yellow noticed a blue and something happened. I feel so happy when I'm near you and I feel so calm when I'm with you. Yellow and blue became inseparable. Life felt so vibrant, but not all the colors were happy about it. Colors shouldn't mix. I don't like yellow's effect on blue. That blue isn't bright enough for yellow, but yellow and blue loved each other so much they decided to mix. Together, they created a new color. They named her Green. Green was bright like yellow and calm like blue, but really, she was a color all her own. Everyone was fascinated. She's so cute! I've never seen anything like her before. Even the grumpy colors fell in love with Green. Can I hold her? The colors began to see new possibilities. Soon, other colors mixed and mixed and mixed and mixed. There were so many new colors and a lot of new names. Be careful, Jade. Don't forget your glasses, Lavender. Have fun, Amber. The old neighborhoods of Redville, Blue Town, and Yellow Heights didn't make sense anymore. Everyone wanted to live together. So they rebuilt the city. The new city was full of color. It wasn't perfect, but it was home. Hey, it's marvelous that you stuck around for today's activity. What we're going to be doing is mixing colors, just like in the book. So you're going to need a couple things. You will need some paint, red, blue and yellow, just like in the book. You will need a canvas. Mine is really little. You can have yours as big as you want, but you will also need a piece of paper, any color, it doesn't matter, to, um, we're gonna make this into a stencil, but it needs to be the same size as your canvas. You will also need a writing utensil, scissors, and tape. All right, now that you have all of your materials, let's get started. You're going to take your piece of paper and fold it in half like this. And on the fold side, you are going to draw half a heart shape. So here's the fold, I'm going to draw half of my heart. And make sure it takes up almost the whole paper because this is our stencil. There we go, like that. And then cut it out. Now this is our stencil. And 
we're going to tape our stencil on top of our canvas. Now it should look like this. Your paper is covering, so only a heart is exposed on your canvas. Now we're going to do some color mixing. Are you ready? Pour some paint, pour some red, yellow, and blue paint on a plate like that. We're first going to make thumbprints or fingerprints with our primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. You might want a paper towel just so you can wipe your finger off in between. It might get a little messy. So here's our original colors, red, blue, yellow. And I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just going to make a couple, well, however many blues you want. But we're gonna need room for other colors. Now you can dip it in yellow. And last, red. Now here comes the fun part. Now we're going to mix the colors just like in the book. That's what's going to create our heart full of color. So I'm gonna mix some red and yellow together to make a new color. What's it gonna be? Orange. And now I'm gonna take my finger and dab it all around. Now we can mix red, a little bit of red, a little bit of blue. Now with your new color, add more fingerprints to your board. Now let's try blue and yellow. Now we're gonna dab it on, you guessed it, our board. What other colors can we mix? Maybe purple and yellow. Now with our different colors that we've mixed, you can just go to town and get creative and see what colors you can mix together to make new colors and then add them to your heart until it's all the way full. Now I can't let you guys have all the fun. I'm gonna mix two. And I wanna fill up my heart to make it look amazing. So now that your heart is all the way filled up, you're going to take the stencil off very carefully. And there you have it your heart that is beautiful and full of color. I'm not done yet. I wrote a special quote on my piece of art. You can do whatever you want on yours. You can give it to someone or hang it in your home. But I wrote, there is nothing more truly artistic than to love people. And this quote was by artist Vincent Van Gogh. So there's my finished heart. Voila. If you like today's book and activity, make sure you hit like and subscribe at the bottom and I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you for Bye, watching. Ashi.